hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please make sure to subscribe so in this video we are going to see the act 7.2.5 easy path for the platinum pool boss so we are taking extreme right and uh, note on this path it is that whenever you uh, touch the defender uh, it will apply you the shock debuff so make sure to use uh, champions which are immune to shock or benefits from the debuffs such as ghost uh, kingpin mole man uh, but i'm using uh, for the path i'm using onslaught just because i recently got him and ranked up him so another champion which you can use uh, are absorbing man uh, you can use that shocker shocker as well he is immune to shock as well so these champions are very good uh, for the for this path just because they benefit from those debuffs and i'm using onslaught you can see that i'm using onslaught uh, as a horseman of apocalypse and also i'm using uh, i think cable for the synergy where the champion uh, or all the mutant champions will start the fight with the either power gain fury or the armor armor is uh, not that useful but power gain and fury is very useful as it is having a 25 percent potency so i'm using uh, synergies for the onslaught and we are going to use onslaught for the boss fight as well just because uh, there are very very few uh, counters for the platinum pool on this uh, specifically on this chapter so another one is uh, uh, is a warlock i think but uh, even with the warlock this fight is quite difficult uh, another champion uh, may have uh, uh, like uh, might be a good option uh, was the uh, lady death strike but the problem is that whenever uh, platinum gold purifies the uh, like hill block effect that uh, whenever he struck off the hill block effect he regenerates a lot of health so that's why lady death strike is not that great so we will talk about uh, specifically uh, in that fight uh, when we get to the boss uh, like how to fight uh, platinum pool because debuffs and hill reversal will not work there so let's talk about now this fight that these are all fights are like just casual for the onslaught the only fight that is a little bit annoying which is green goblin just because he gets a lot of power and uh, he affects the power gain power uh, gain ability of the attacker you will see that in the upcoming fight uh, actually i tried with the onslaught before but then i switched to the like i i restarted the quest uh, and, I, and i started using absorbing man against the uh, green goblin but uh, this fight is quite easy for the wolverine uh, against the wolverine and uh, I'm not using 100% uh, like uh, only heavy uh, against the his defenders just because uh, it will take a lot of time to continuously keep using heavy attack but I'm trying my best and uh, the reason I'm using onslaught is that I recently got him and I want to uh, practice a little bit and uh, that will make me uh, uh more confident to take him to the rank 4 or rank 5 so this is like a like assumption that i might take him to the rank 4 or rank 5 maybe but you will uh, if i uh, take him to the rank 5 he will be my first rank 5 champion and uh, you will get to see a very good gameplay on other type of content as well so i will try my best to put out best content as much as possible I'm not getting much time for the for video making uh, but i'm trying my best so in this video like uh, in this fight i uh, you can see that green goblin is getting a lot of power and i'm not getting a lot of power just because of that green cunnings uh, you can see that cunnings green uh, which reduces the attacker's power gain and it will increase the power gain of green goblin as you can see uh, in just a 5 to 6 8 he gets the one and half bar of power and i am uh, not getting that much of power uh, you can see that and that's the only uh, problematic 
like not problematic but the only uh, annoying thing about the green goblin uh, using uh, champions like ghost may be the better option here just because she can get uh, power whenever she whenever uh, opponent miss and uh, whenever she purifies the debuff she gets a lot of fury i think uh, ghost might be the best for this path but uh, she might not be the best for the boss fight as well boss boss fight as well but uh, just because uh, platinum pulse regeneration will overpower the damage of ghost so she may not be the best for that fight as well uh, for that fight but she is probably the best for this path but, uh, so my recommendation would be ghost at number one uh, at number two absorbing man after that i will recommend using onslaught uh, after that i will say use shocker uh, and another champion which i talked uh, previously which i might not uh remembering properly but okay uh, you can use uh, champions like kingpin or uh, champions uh, like mole man which can shrug off debuff uh, easily and uh, they also benefit from uh, getting debuff so they can purify those debuff and get attack uh, bonus attack so use such uh, these kind of champions uh, instead of just immunity champion so use champion which are benefits from the debuff or triggering the immunities so that's how easy this path you just need a few champions your two two or three uh, minimum two champions good decent champions which can easily run this path without uh, wasting resources a lot and uh, there is no champions such champions which can uh, be a problematic for you like uh, their mechanism or their certain abilities which will make you much more stressful uh, there are no champions like that so these are all generics and very easy champions to fight and as you can see that these fights are going pretty well and onslaught is almost full health and uh, he is even healing from those shocks because he is not taking any damage from the shocks he is not immune to shock but uh, he does not take any kind of uh, damage from the shocks and also incinerates and also from the bleeds uh, which is exactly like that and he is also having some added uh, bleed immunities like he is having 150% uh, bleed damage resistance so you can reliably use him uh, in the most of the bleed path uh, incinerate shock path as well uh, I am not properly remembering if he is having 3 or 4 immunities but I am sure about those 3 immunities I recently got him so I haven't played a lot with him and I am just practicing uh, onslaught gameplay style with the uh, basically uh, the rotation is simple uh, build power and once you reach to the one and a half bar of power start uh, like uh, start baiting start baiting the heavy attacks or the special attacks of the uh, opponent and if possible counter with the heavy attack and interrupt your heavy attack with the uh, uh, sp2 first and then do keep doing the heavy attack uh, until you reach to the sp1 again and throw your sp1 so this is the first part where you build some power use heavy interrupt with the sp2 and now it's time to use heavy attack with the interrupting with the sp1 as you can see that i did uh, sp1 interrupting uh, my heavy attack and uh, you can see that it did a lot of damage because it will pause all those neuro shocks all those uh, degeneration debuff and it will uh, uh, i think neurotox i am not sure what is the limit of neurotoxin but uh, uh, not not neuro shock it's not neurotoxin it's a neuro shock so i'm not sure how much uh, what is the limit of neuro shock but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it can stack up to 100 uh, and after that i don't know how much it can go up but uh, Degeneration is only 20. So now we are playing the boss fight. The so boss fight is very very simple. You jo you don't have to do uh, anything anything special. You have to just uh, remember that uh, combo ending. 
and even uh, even you don't need to remember that you can see that uh, under the onslaught uh, help bar you will see that l and m switching so whenever i uh, end the combo with medium attack you will see the m so now our goal is to finish the combo with the light attack now you see the l that means you have to finish the combo with alternate uh, uh, medium or light attack this way you will not take damage and uh, onslaught uh, not onslaught platinum pool will not regenerate so initially you will see that i use my sp2 the reason uh, the reason behind that i wanted to put a lot uh, put some debuff on the platinum platinum pool so that he can regenerate and uh, because of that i will uh, uh, now i will apply those magnetize uh, debuff on him and as soon as i start to apply magnetize debuff he will try to uh, purify that and whenever he purify that it will convert into the passive magnetism debuff and now our goal is very very simple you don't have to do anything just by finish your five hit combo with alternate ending attack which, uh, which is like uh, if you uh, finish the first combo with a medium attack then uh, after that you have to finish five hit combo with a light attack exactly like i am doing here and you just need to uh, use your special attack sp1 you don't need to go sp2 and trust into the process you you don't have to do anything else you just have to do five hit combo uh, ending with the alternate attack and after that use the sp1 and let the neuro shock do their work uh, if you try to go for the sp2 and if you try to do heavy attack uh, the those uh, like those degeneration debuff will go off uh, at some point just because uh, uh, if you miss to use heavy attack or you did not get the opening of countering sp uh, or his uh, heavy attack with your heavy attack you will lose those degeneration and it will uh, like platinum pool will start to regenerate a lot and he regenerates a lot very very much he, regen he regenerates very much so you have to keep that in mind that you just need to uh, finish your combo with alternative attack like if you finish the combo with medium then uh, finish next combo with the light attack and use your, your sp1 and stack as many as those neuroshocks as many as neuroshocks possible and those uh, magnetized uh, debuff you can see that uh, magnetos helmet under the platinum tools help bar those will do all the work of stopping uh, platinum pool, pool from regeneration and uh, neuroshocks will kill him uh, as uh, like they are doing very good damage as you can see that uh, this is not much this is not a great like a degeneration damage uh, but it is still significant damage that you can easily finish this fight in two, uh, two minutes if you play properly and as you can see that uh, pattern pool is going down very very quickly and because of those power gain uh, synergy with the uh, apocalypse and uh, cable uh, it is giving us a lot of power and it makes the fight much easier you get either power gain or fury so thanks for watching the video if you find this video useful please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the future content thanks for watching the video see you soon